The New Mexico Tech Performing Arts Series is a nonprofit program that presents a variety of shows from music to dance, theater, family, comedy, and with 10 to 12 shows a season, there's always something for everyone. So we provide Socorro and the neighboring counties with quality entertainment, fun and exciting arts experiences, and wonderful outreach events, as well as educational youth performances and residencies throughout the year. We live in a very rural part of the state, so giving our community those type of experiences uh, really benefits the quality of life. Everybody is very supportive. I like to call Socorro our little diamond in, in, the, in the desert. It is one of the best places and there's so much and people just don't really actually realize that until they really dig in and find out. With the help of Nusenda Community Rewards, we have not only been able to stay afloat this season, but we've also been able to expand our repertoire and bring events like Socorro Session Social Distance Music Fest to the community of Socorro. Nusenda Credit Union, the power of we. Our members make community rewards possible. Visit nusenda.org to learn more. Insured by NCUA.
Hi. <laughs> Welcome. It's good to see you all for our first show of 2023, and I'm very hopeful for this new year that it's going to be a good one. I'm Rana Kalish. I'm the director of the Performing Arts Series, and downstairs, I think a lot of you ran into Dana Chavez. Her and I are cohorts in crime, as it were, here in Socorro. I know we have quite a few visitors. Just as, as a point of curiosity, how many people are here who are not from Socorro County? All right. Welcome. Welcome. We're so, we're so glad that you're here. And I'd like to also, as I, I, I never want to be remiss in thanking the amazing crew we have here at Macy Center um, on sound and lights, and we're also live streaming tonight. Um, you can go back and listen to this concert again, and hello to you folks who are tuned in. We're keeping this going for people who still aren't quite ready to come on out and, and for friends and family afar, because we've gotten good at it during COVID, unbelievably, but this is some, a, a positive of the pandemic. I have um, a few things I wanted to mention. We are doing a survey from now until April, and I think some of you will run into it at other venues and activities around the state. This is America for the Arts, who's done this survey about every six years, trying to uh, uh, gather information about the economic impact of arts and culture on communities and throughout the United States. It's an important survey. It means a lot to all these groups all around the country, so I hope you'll fill this out. What we need is just, we don't need every single person. Like if you came with six people, if one person would fill it out for all of you, that would be great. If you came as a couple, that would be great. And it makes no difference if you're from here in Socorro, or you're a visitor, or you're a, a student, whatever. The, we'd like to get a cross section of everyone. So we'll be out here at intermission and also after the show, and, and we really appreciate if you would fill it out. It doesn't take that long, it's pretty straightforward. Also, we do pre show food events, and tonight we did a food event called, and we also have a cash bar and also mocktails for those of you underage. Um, and tonight was comfort food, and we have fried chicken and waffles, and the waffles are from the NMT. Waffle Club, a student group that's an amazing group and one of the largest clubs on campus, I need you to know. <laughs> and the president of the Waffle Club is on lights back here, Kaisa Drew, and she's an amazing person on lights and an amazing student. Yay, Kaisa! <laughs> and her, all the great students. And the reason I'm telling you this is we still have a lot of food left. So. This, this is taking place down the hall on this side of the theater. It's, it's $10 for waffles and um, fried chicken, and it's really good, and it's well worth the money, and then there's a cash bar. So we'll hope some of you will join us. And students, it's only 5 bucks, so you really can't beat that deal at all. So I hope to see some of you at intermission. Um, we have a lot of great things coming up. I'm going to whiz right through this, but next weekend we have Camarada del Sol. It's a free chamber music concert. The, they're from um, New Mexico State University. It's an amazing group of seven people. They'll be doing um, little known works, but really beautiful music. And um, that's the first of our presidential chamber music series concerts that the president pays for, and that's why they're free. Um, really a big gift to the community. The following weekend is the Community Arts Party, we're in our 27th year, and it's going to, yeah, someone clapping, woo hoo hoo. <laughs> it's hands-on arts projects for all ages, it's a free event, it's a time when all different folks from our community come together. Um, this year's gonna be at Parkview Gym because Finley Gym's under renovation, so Parkview's down at the north edge of Hatham and it'll be in the gym, which is on the north side of the school. So I hope to see some of you, if you're in a student club, we need help. If you're an artist or a person who just likes to volunteer, we always need volunteers. So hope to see you then next, that's February 4th, that's in two weeks. And on February 10th, we have the Albuquerque Jazz Orchestra with Hilary Smith, it's gonna be a great show, we'll have a Valentine's dinner um, before that, and, and I think I'm gonna stop there because I could go on on. But I, and also, we're also taking um, any woman here, and this, I'm thinking there's a lot of women because we got an all-women band here tonight. We're doing a, um, 
an art showcase of Socorro County women. And um, so if you are an artist or even a hobbyist, we're taking submissions. And um, in the next three weeks, we're gonna put out as much as possible. So hope to see some of you submit some art for this art exhibit. And it'll be up for a whole month for Women's History Month. And, and we'll be doing Women Fest on March 24th and 25th, which is an amazing event. That's just a showcase of music, art, and wellness in Socorro County, really great event. Um, our sponsors tonight, and it's a big thanks to all our sponsors because this program just couldn't exist without the support of community organizations and businesses and individuals, a bunch of who are out here tonight who support this program in a big way. But tonight's sponsors, let me just say, thank them all and then we can give them a round of applause. The Deborah Treader Memorial, and Deborah Treader was an artist who loved music, super excited about that. Iris Pascal, longtime supporter of the Performing Arts Series, who does all kinds of support for uh, uh, volcanoes and seismic activities, something very techy, you know. Bob and Kathy Markwell, also longtime supporters of the Performing Arts Series. The Student Government Association, SGA, maybe we gotta clap for them right now. <laughs> because huge, huge help to the Performing Arts Series. We totally, totally appreciate the support SGA gives. Desert Herbals, um, Jeannie Dixon and Bill Gibbets, both amazing musicians. <laughs> now I got y'all clapping. Um, Best Western is a longtime supporter of PAS. Uh, I bet a lot of you got here because of KUNM, all of you out-of-towners. That's our public radio station. You hear great music, afternoons, evenings, all the time. It's so, we're so lucky to have them. And Mind Country Radio, who's our own radio station here in Socorro County. Now let's just give them all a big round of applause. <laughs> So I learned about this group really from a very good friend of mine um, who lives in Colorado, who, who knew that they were performing in Santa Fe and Taos and said, Ron, are you going to Big Richard? And I said, who's Big Richard? I don't know them. And she just went on and on about how amazing they were. And so then I found out who Big Richard was. And these gals have come together. They all were playing in other amazing groups that were on tour. They are. Um, musicians of the highest caliber, but with a great sense of humor and lady rage and, and everything else. And I'm super excited to have them here in Socorro. They'll come out after the show to sign autographs. They have CDs for sale. I am really thrilled to have Big Richard here in Socorro. So let's give Big Richard a big round of applause. Welcome to Socorro. Forty-five minutes. We got time for a couple more. <laughs> okay, cool. I have eight strings. So how'd you take so long? <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Hear that poor boy howl a hundred miles. Oh, me, 
Amanda, can I get a little more bass? I knew I was gonna, right at the end of our sound check, I was like, bring the bass down. I'll probably regret it. This is me regretting <laughs> Amanda, it. Amanda, can I have more bass too? Whoa. <laughs> Double bass. They All never about do that. that bass, about that bass, about that bass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sing a song about love. Here we go. <laughs> Just like it always did Comfortable and right Familiar and surprising At the same time I'm still riding a shotgun You're still driving me insane While I get stoned in the front seat
That's Bonnie Sims. Tonight's theme was floral feelings. That's our outfits. Except for the no, camp. That's, hey, that's part that's of plants, we it's decided. look like plants. Hey, now. Flowers have stems and leaves, Actually, and they I'm grow in the dirt. Actually, you mentioned them. I'm camouflaged. You can't see me. <laughs> yeah. How'd you even see her? All day I'd be like, Joy, where are your legs? <laughs> She's driving with no legs. Great. <laughs> Here's one that I wrote. That's Emma Rose singing for you. We, uh, we all have male alter egos. 
keep things interesting. And uh, Emma is King Dreamy. So dreamy. So dreamy. For very obvious reasons. So dreamy. Nice. Uh, Bonnie is Cowboy Daddy. I'm your daddy now. <laughs> you can yell yeehaw or yes daddy during her solos. <laughs> I'm Ski Boy. Kind of ski a boy. useless stoner who just skis all day. <laughs> Doesn't have a real job. <laughs> uh, not too far from the truth. And then, last but certainly not least, there is just Steve. <laughs> kind of a Midwestern dad. Wears a lot of flannel. Denim. Look at that. Right there. Distressed denim. Steve. Edgy Steve. <laughs> Edgy Steve. Um, I wrote this next fiddle tune we're going to play uh, on a writing retreat. We did. I wrote it on December 28th, so it's called, uh, it's, stop laughing. <laughs> it's called the 28th of December. Panning on the fiddle. Steezy Steve, we like to say. Yeah. It's a surprise. They're not supposed to even notice that mic. I ruined it. <laughs> you ruined the surprise. <laughs> this is our third uh, show in a string of shows that we're doing 
It's called the tour when you do a string of shows. Uh, I like a string of We're, we're kind of changing it up every night to keep it fun for us and for the pretending to the crowds, but. Oh, yeah. We're we like to. We also like to keep our sound engineer on her feet. Most people bring a sound man to their gigs. We bring a sound Manda. There's Amanda Abate back there running sound. <laughs> she is stellar. All right, we have an old time tune about murder for you. Most of them are truth, truthfully, but let's, here's another one. <laughs> There were two sisters came walking down the stream, rolling in the rain. The older one pushed the younger one in, crying o'er the dreadful wind and rain. Poor Johnny gave the younger one a game. Well, the next one's another old-time tune. We really like old-time tunes. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with bluegrass. Old-time music is from the southern Appalachian region. It's kind of like the, the drunker uncle of, of bluegrass. It's a little ragier, a little darker. Um, this is a n new old-time tune uh, written by a fiddler whose house, he had a house in a valley, and uh, they were building a, a reservoir, and they were gonna flood the valley and uh, he fought it as hard as he could and lost. And on the day the, they stopped the river, he drove his truck up the side of the hill and watched the, his house flood and wrote this tune. It's called Elk River Blues.
Dr. Joy Adams on the cello with Elk River Blues. I do have a doctorate in the cello, yep. the most useless of all the doctorates. I can help you with nothing. Right? You're saving lives in this room, okay? Uh. You're saving my life. <laughs> and I got a good life. <laughs> My, my younger brother is about to become a real doctor. He's like going to be a, I don't know, a kid's doctor or something. What do you call it? A pediatrician? pediatrician. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should know these things. <laughs> he keeps giving me shit. He keeps being like, oh, I'm about to be the real Dr. Adams. It's like, well, I'm the first Dr. Adams. Thanks a lot. Yeah. No, real shut doctor, it. Whatever. Oh I bet he can't analyze Wagner in his head. Come on. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> um, well, on a way less important topic, <laughs> this is a song that I wrote about not being codependent in a relationship. <laughs> Doctors are more important than that, though. I mean, that's important, too.
Well, thank you, friends. We're going to do one more song. We're going to take a short little break and then come back up here for another set of fun. So don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I mean, you were in the middle. You got a long way to get out yeah, to walk. Yeah, we noticed there are no um, There's like a aisles? fake aisle. There's an aisle if you're a stick person. <laughs> it's the Can tiniest aisle walk through that? ever. Did you walk through that to get there? Any of you? No, Anybody you high step it over those you things? Just have to like it's hold the kind of thing. The it's whole called time. challenge mode to get to your seat. You know, there's like regular walking down the aisles, yeah. and then there's challenge mode. Yeah, this should be a reality show. <laughs> I would have tried that one. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks, we'll be right back.
Perfect. Let's give a little intro. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back, baby. We're gonna play um, a brand new song. Although I will say my, my husband Andy has been talking about writing this song for like seven years. He kept being like, man, we should really write this song. And the title <laughs> is You're On My To-Do List. That was it, that was all he had. So I was skiing and I wrote the chorus on the chairlift and then I was skiing a different place and I wrote a verse on the chairlift again. And then uh, came back to the Big Richard writing retreat, which is where I was supposed to be, but I was skiing instead. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was like 30 minutes and it was out by these ladies. So big collaborative effort. This song is called You're On My To-Do List. You're on my to-do list. I'll cut you right on time.
We heard that you guys were just eating chicken and waffles. Were they good? So nothing like a song about sex after that. It's yeah. kind of a holy trifecta. Chicken, waffles, and sex. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> With a side of cannabis. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a song about love, but not the kind of love that you need to call you back the next day or like learn their last name. Don't make it overcomplicated, you know, just a one time in the moment kind of thing. Yeah, oh, oh, like you've never heard of it, you sluts, don't lie. <laughs> All right, here we go, it's called Do Me In. <laughs> change for real this time. <laughs> got their own new I'm still tuning. <laughs> All right, well, we had to use this mic because it looks cool. Pretty much it. The ear trumpet labs, yeah. Um, also, I don't have a pickup in this mandolin, so that's, <laughs> that's really what's going on. <laughs> Motivated us to try something exactly, new. Exactly, totally. It's all for you, of course. Um, this is a tune that I wrote uh, thinking about uh, people who are born into unfortunate circumstances, um, whether that's poverty or childhood trauma or uh, a health condition or something like that. And uh, they just go through their lives carrying this thing around with them that they can't get rid of. It's just, it's their life. This song's called Pet. Well, 
the other girls were bright and sweet Why well, I had nothing thing on a leash And it loved the fear in the storms above So I never learned to trust in love I never learned to trust in love One and only ski boy. I would be codependent <laughs> with Dr. Joy. <laughs> Dr. Joy forgot to tell you to yell send it during her solos. That's, right. That's the ski boy <laughs> encouragement. Send it, brah! <laughs> I do that, all right? They're starting to pick up the ski lingo, and it just warms my heart. The yeah, other day, or earlier today, the in the, in the van, Bonnie said words. sick, and I was really excited. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that, cool, that's sick. I think we were working on the set list. She said it was sick. It's like, that's sick.
Gillian Wildstar, she's a good queen. Well, we'd like to dedicate this next song. It's also a traditional old time number. Um, we'd like to dedicate it to Satan. He doesn't get enough credit these days, you know? <laughs> Everybody's always giving it And to also God. to my mom, who hates, who hates Satan. Um, she also really hates Billie Eilish. <laughs> She sent me a letter one time in the, it was a long one, it's like nine pages. In the middle, she was like, out of context, I just hate that Billie Eilish. That was it. So I texted the lads. I was like, guys, we have to do this Billie Eilish song. <laughs> Dedicate it to my dear mother. My Lucifer is lonely. Standing there, killing time. Commit to anything but a crime. Years of vacation. An open invitation. Animals, evidence, pearl the gates to court like a picket fan. Once you get inside, the gut runs the Peter. 
All right, we've got a pair of fiddle tunes. Why am I announcing every tune? Somebody You're doing really should, good. You're killing someone it. Someone else should talk into the microphone. Steve, come on, one of these tunes. Steve, remember when you introduced? <laughs> Joey wrote this next song about skiing. <laughs> Take it away. She well, loves. Well, you have to introduce this song because none of us know yeah, what we it is. I, I, I'll introduce it. I think I know what Hero Corn is. Okay, let's hear about it. Nail it. I don't ski, but <laughs> Joy Off to has a good start. described to me what Hero Corn means. And I think it's when <laughs> the snow, <laughs> when the snow is the consistency of corn on the cob, and your skis <laughs> I mean, <what>? scrape <laughs> the corn off of the cob Does it sound familiar? as you ski. And, and, and it's just so, like, you know, if you were to scrape corn off the cob, <laughs> With a fork, you might do it with your skis. And, and so Joy wrote a tune about it. <laughs> this is That's why great. I, I don't introduce this tune. You have to do it. I don't know what hero corn is. Any skiers in the audience know what hero corn is. For the rest of you, I'm sorry. That's Emma <laughs> included. I'll get there. All right, you, this, this will be paired with Eve's tune. <laughs> yeah. Her roommate? who mm -hmm. marches across the living room to get coffee. <laughs> so we were all supposed to show up to a rehearsal with a new song, and I had six hours, and I only work well under pressure. So Deadlines. I had a deadline, and my roommate like works from home, and she just hums to herself a lot. She's like, <laughs> and so I was like, that's a little ditty I can use. <laughs> Boom, so took it. That's Eve's now. Just took it. by Hero Corn.
Steve. Pretty steezy. <laughs> we got a couple more songs for you guys. Tell all your friends uh, in Santa Fe that we're going to be there tomorrow night at Tumble Root. And there's not that many tickets left, so tell them quick. Okay? So we'll be back to Socorro, though, hopefully. Yeah. You guys are, are a good bunch of folks. Thanks for spending your Friday night with us. It is Friday, right? Cool. And Thank listening so well for, for a Friday night. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So nice when they actually listen. Not, nothing against the rowdy party folks. We love you people, too. But sometimes it starts to be this like a battle between who's, uh, who's making the most noise. Have so you ever been to a show where somebody talked in your ear so loud it like buzzes it? Like they like yell in your ear? Because they're thinking they need to talk loud. So they get really close to your ear and they're like, hey, Liza, yeah. <laughs> And you're just like, oh my God, I'm deaf now. That's the worst. So that didn't happen tonight to anyone. Congratulations. You're so well behaved. <laughs> It's good. We appreciate. We get to. We got to play some of our uh, vibier, more you know, big Richard, big feelings kind of tunes for you guys. So we don't get to do that very often. We appreciate it. Thank you. Here's a song about a rooster. Well, again, you guys have been great. Come see us at the merch table after the show. We have a bunch of these songs on our live from Telluride record. We got to play Telluride Bluegrass this last summer, and we made an album. So we have that for sale tonight. Thank you. A few people clapping. I appreciate that. <laughs> no. It's okay. You don't, want, don't jump in just because I said something, okay? You weren't on the bandwagon to begin with, so. <laughs> I don't want to force it. All right, this is a song about, I don't know. Here we go.
Thank y'all so much. We are Big Richard, that's Joy Adams, Emma Rose, I'm Bonnie Sims, this is Eve Panning. Peekaboo for adults. The encore? An encore. It's like, bye, we're done. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we're artists, we don't want to stop. You're clapping. It's like the <laughs> social contract. They want more. Get out there. <laughs> seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies and I'm not proud of my address in the store I'm But everybody's like this song